What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 38 of our Wolves Crew Remote. And today, three games for you. We have Leeds, and then, of course, our second leg of our quarterfinal against Inter, and then Sheffield United. One of those episodes, folks. There's some big games around, and as you can see, we sit third in the Premier League right now as we try and grab a top four spot. We're eight back of City with seven games to go. We're probably not going to catch them, um, but a top four spot for the second year running was obviously the goal. And at the moment, we're on pace to finish in that spot. Currently, we're level with Tottenham, who are in fourth. Um, two back of Liverpool, who have a game in hand on both us and Tottenham. Um, but the big one there is Chelsea. That is the big one. We're eight points ahead of Arsenal, who are in sixth. So it's all about finishing ahead of Chelsea and Tottenham at the moment and Liverpool. Um, Chelsea are three points behind us, and we have a game in hand. You know, you feel we're in a really comfortable position right now to finish in the top four. If we go ahead and win our games, you feel we can finish in the top four. Now, we have this game against Leeds. We are going to rotate heavily for this, mainly because we have that second leg coming with Inter. That first leg finished 2-2 um, at the Molyneux, which means we are behind. We need to go to Italy and put in a really good performance. And we're going to go ahead and obviously try that but we're gonna need to be uh rotating a little bit here so we are going to fully do that now we're gonna bring Rene adelaide in as well gibbs white can come onto the bench foyth can start um and then donker can start and then kiana hoover can start at right back and then i think we're good we'll bring Moutinho onto the bench at a neves who's up to 90 overall by the way um, but this looks good. Team looks good. Let's jump into this. Wolves leads. Let's go. Played out wide. Back inside is lovely football. Robertson does so well to get in behind the center back. Lovely finish as well. That's a really good finish. But the midfielder there, high up the pitch. That's a great finish from him. As he takes the camera from nobody and passes it back to nobody. Incredible stuff. But this is a really good finish. He plays that through and you went to step into him. It didn't happen. He did well to hold off and the finish. Excellent from him. And Leeds have taken an early 1-0 lead here on 8 minutes. Not ideal. Kind of let that run through the gap. Here's Bamford. Oh, can't quite get to it. And he's through on goal. Another great save. Can we... Or not another great save. Our first great save considering the first one wasn't saved. Another great opportunity for Leeds. Who have started like a house on fire here. And it's 2-0. Jesus. 12 minutes gone. And Leeds are all over us. It's Robertson again. Messing with the camera. Won't stop. This is once again. Incredible movement here. It's a really good finish this one. It's his second of the day. And Jesus what a start for Leeds. And we have a hole to dig ourselves out of. Can't quite get a touch onto it. And Leeds are coming forward here. And Bamford's in on goal. And Bamford is three. What in the world is happening here at the back? Den Dunker and Foyth are being run all over. Patrick Bamford with it. It's like they're just not moving properly. Everything is in slow motion seemingly. I've stepped up there, of course. But my goodness... An excellent finish from Banford. It's 3-0, and we need a bit of a miracle to just get a point here after 20 minutes. Nicely played forward. One more. Here's Vitinha. And Fabio Silva's going to make a run now. And Fabio Silva into space. Fabio Silva can pull one back. And there it is. Is the comeback on. 3-1 the score. A very, very quick goal. Fabio Silva finishing this one off. It's a good ball into him. Tight angle here. Doesn't matter to Fabio. An excellent goal scorer he's turning into. It's 3-1 here on 25 minutes. Can we grab another? Close this gap a little bit more. Nice step inside. Lovely football this from Leeds again. Bamford has it nicked off him. And that touch was really, really heavy there. And as Bamford, it's four. This touch is so bad. And Leeds grab a fourth. <laughs> Bamford second. 
Two for him, two for Robertson. Look at this touch right there. Why is that awful from Den Donker? That touch is really bad. We just needed that one touch to be normal and we could play that out. But it's a poor touch from Den Donker. Bamford goes near post, finds the gap. It's 4 1 on 34 minutes. Nice turn. One more. Very well played. Here's Vitinha, and he can find a ball through. It's Fabio Silva who had to go behind to get it, but he's finished it anyway. And once again, Fabio Silva brings us back into the game. 4-2 now the score. Every time they go up by three, we pull it back quickly. It's six goals in this first half. Ridiculous. Nice touch there to just stretch it a little bit. Get away from the defender. And then he hammers it into the back of the net. No chance for the goalkeeper. It's a good finish. A really good finish from Fabio Silva. It's his second of the day. We need two more to level it here. 4-2 on 40 minutes. Coming forward here. A bit of space, and I tried to switch on, and Rodrigo's through. It's five. You've got to be kidding. I saw the run happening. Couldn't get over there in time. And Leeds have a fifth, and every time we threaten to come back into this game, they pull further away. It's so annoying, this. I'm not sure where Den Donker's going originally. Tried to get back in time. Didn't happen. It's a good finish from Rodrigo. It's 5-2 on 56 minutes. It's Moutinho. Slip it out there. It's Rene Adelaide. Pushing the ball forward here. And Fabio Silva's come off the back there. And it's Fabio Silva. There it is. He's got a bloody hat trick. And we still need two goals to catch leads. It's a shame for Fabio Silva who continues to try and pull us back into this game. He's grabbed a goal here. It's a good run. It's a good first touch. Kind of straightened himself out with it. And it's another excellent finish. All three of his goals have been rather similar. There's 15 minutes to go here. Can we possibly grab a bit of a miracle? Done well once again. Can't quite get to this. He's continuing to hold on to the ball. Nice turn. Lovely ball. Look, he got there too. There's no way. <laughs> oh my god. We're getting trounced. 6-3 the score for Leeds. He's unbelievable this ball's got there. And that's kind of just been the day today. Slow center back movement. Dundonker can't get to that. He ought to. He's got to be aware of the cross being coming in. He cannot be... He's got to be in between the bloody striker and the goal. He's not. Oh, dreadful today. Oh, this once again turned on here. It's Robertson. Comes back inside. And he scored that. It's a seventh for Leeds. The two at the back. They've been clunky and moving poorly. And they've been really, really bad. Dendonker, Foyth, awful. And Wolf just whiffed at that. Leeds have seven. And in the league, since we changed... The difficulty, we have had a very, very difficult time of it. Gave, conceded four in a 4-1 loss to Newcastle. Conceded seven here and a seven, a seven so far. Can we get to this? I just don't want to concede an eighth. I really don't. How's he turned that? No way. How has he gotten onto that? It's eight. Leeds have eight. How in the world has he won that ball? But we've conceded eight here. Four to Newcastle. What in the world is this? How have we not come away with that twice? And then he's just finished it all the way on the turn. Two goals in a couple minutes for Somerville. We've been really bad at the back. I don't want to play Den Donker or Foyth at center back ever again. We just bought Foyth. Fabio Silva had a bloody hat trick and we lost by five. Eight three the final. That is That is something else. They had eleven shots, eight went in. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's just awful top to bottom. I may not play Den Donker and Foyth for the rest of the season back there. I really might not. That was so bad. So bad, but we have to put that behind us. We have the second leg of the quarterfinal here against Inter. 
It's 2-2. We need to go here and score at least once. 1-1 one, one won't do it. 1-1 one, one will knock us out. I can't believe that. I can't believe we just conceded 8. 8-3. Eight, oh my god. Unbelievable stuff. Let's jump into this. Ever since we've changed the difficulty on here, because we changed the difficulty. Well, the difficulty is the same across both career modes and... With our Leipzig career mode, we started really, really well. We won our three games. Beat Bayern 5-1. Beat Dortmund 3-1. With the difficulty. Just not working out on this one just yet. Let's jump into it. Inter Wolves. Let's go. Let me get a hold of this. It's a nice turn inside. Oh, thought we had to tackle. Look at all the space here. What in the world is that? Inter have grabbed the lead. We need two goals now. It's Luka Jovic. Of course, clinical for us in our lives in career mode right now as the music goes blaring through the bloody stadium. What is this? Look at that gap. We oh, should have won that ball there. And Patricio hasn't even moved. It comes to Jovic. He takes a touch. And Patricio just stands there. No reaction whatsoever. Inter grab a lead, and we have not started well. Jimenez will play it on to Lucas nicely. Lucas can step inside, finds Neves, back into Lucas. It's a lovely football, this. It's Lucas. We've pulled it back. Level here. We need one more. But it's a very quick response, and it works us back into this tie relatively quickly. Lucas just kept his run up here. It's a good ball in, and he's just run into that space. Good touch. And an excellent finish. He had to lift it over Handanovic's leg. And he has a quick goal back. 20 minutes gone. It's 1-1. 3-3 on aggregate. And at the moment, they go through on away goals. Going doozy. Here's Lucas. He's going to try and step into space. Can he slip that out there? He can. And here's Jimenez. Steps inside. Brilliant. Oh, good save. Oh, brilliantly done there by Jimenez to find the space. Just couldn't finish it. Nice tackle. One more. Here's Traore. Traore's going to have a run at this inter defense. He does well to step inside. Finds Jimenez. What a ball from Traore. Oh! What a tackle in the end. He got a touch onto that. Not sure how. I thought we were going to have a free shot at goal. What a ball in from Traore. Gets that to Guendouzi. And that's slipped forward to Neves. And now we have men coming forward. You can get that ball out to St. Maximin. A great pass there. As St. Maximin moves into the box. Cuts back inside. St. Maximin, you go for goal. What a save. Oh, I thought for a moment we might beat him there. Oh, that's a humongous save. Out wide. Back across. Guendouzi slipped inside. Brilliantly done. And Jimenez does well to hold off. And Jimenez slips it across. Brilliant football. What a save. It's going to come back. And no. He didn't get a hit. Oh, the football once again. Lovely. The goalkeeper coming up with a big save. We have 20 minutes. We need a goal. It's Felipe. Uh, they're just holding on to it here at the moment. That's a really poor giveaway. And Oh, Jimenez. Why haven't you taken his Come back and... Oh, what a finish! No way! Oh, that's an incredible goal. That is an incredible goal at such a time. Are you kidding? We've got to get that. Jimenez should just get to that. He gets to the second one. It comes back down, and he has just hammered that toward goal. It's a stunning finish. At this moment in time, an incredible goal. What a finish. Wow, it's Johnny. I'm not sure what he's doing up the pitch. I knew I didn't recognize him from scoring goals very often. But we're 12 minutes away now from a semi-final. And now that save by Patricio... Looms large for Inter. They need a goal to send this to extra time. It's three minutes to go now. Inter needs something. And they can't just mess around with the ball there. And we've won it. Now can we move up the pitch? It's a good ball to Guendouzi. There's space. Can we finish this game off? Oh, not quite. Not ideal, is it? A minute to go. Inter need a goal. They need to go up. Up the pitch. It needs to be quicker than this. The space running here. Space out wide as well. Akimi is he onside? 
He is. This is everything now for Inter who need a goal. Oh, we've managed to let him turn inside. He's found a good ball in. Oh, huge block. A huge block. It comes down to this corner. Can Inter break our hearts? It gets clipped all the way back. The header's away. It's come back to Erickson. Headed down. It's Skriniar and he blows the whistle. And we are off to a Champions League semi-final. We can't beat Leeds or Newcastle. But we are off to a Champions League semi-final. Incredible what's happened here. What a goal from Johnny late on to send us through. Oof. And that save from Patricio. Massive. As United go out to Juventus, because I believe Juventus won 3 0 in the first leg. That's incredible. Incredible stuff. An 8 3 loss followed by a 2 1 win away from home to Inter. Absolutely incredible. Incredible stuff. We move forward now. And as you can see, oh, Chelsea lost again. Because we're still three points ahead of them with a game in hand. Chelsea have lost again. That is massive for us. Absolutely massive. Because Liverpool are pulling away. They're five points ahead that we have this game here. So let's jump into this. Sheffield Wolves. I press play match, which means we're just going with our starters. It is what it is. Let's jump into it. Sheffield United Wolves. We need points. Here's Guendouzi. Back out there to Neves. And Neves, can he find that ball to Jimenez? He can. And Jimenez, can he get away here? It's a good touch. He's a little bit wider. But Jimenez goes for goal. It's a good save. St. Maximin on the volley. Can't quite steer it past the defenders there. There's some decent blocks in there. Neves back inside. Guendouzi. One more across. Let's slip it in there. Lovely stuff. Guendouzi now. And Guendouzi continues his run. Guendouzi, what a finish. Right into the corner. And Guendouzi, who doesn't score many goals, has just given us the lead here at Bramall Lane. It's a lovely finish as that goes right into the corner. Look at this from Guendouzi. He had a man with him. May have squared it. The defender did well to get in between, but look at this finish. Goalie didn't move, and that flew right into the corner. What a finish from Guendouzi, this. Just hammers it into the corner. That's an excellent, excellent goal. And we've taken the lead here. 1-0 on 33 minutes. Lucas here. Nice touch from Lucas as well. Back into Jimenez. Moving the ball across. Here's Neves. Good take from him. As Neves continues his run forward. Finds Traore. And Traore finds Jimenez. Jimenez. There it is. 2-0. And two quick goals have put us in control here. 2-0. Jimenez this time. That's brilliant from Neves, who just made the space and found the perfect pass that left Jimenez in a ton of space in the six-yard box. It gets it out there to Traore. The pass is in. Perfectly played. I thought it was Neves who played the pass in. Originally, it was Traore who did it. Neves played the first one. An easy finish for a man of Jimenez's char uh, character, caliber. And on 38 minutes, it's 2-0. Nice tackle. And slip it through as well. Here's St. Maximin. And St. Maximin's going to run into space. And the midfielder peeling off his back there. Lovely. Oh, good block. And Traore gets the header down to Neves. Can we recycle this away? One more. Nicely done. And it's Guendouzi making a run. And Guendouzi wants another. Oh, it's over. That's why he doesn't score too many goals. The last one he put right in the corner. This one flies over the bar. Nice football. Oh, it's lovely stuff here by Sheffield. I've opened up that gap. Oh, it's going to be a penalty. He walked into it after. He played that ball and then walked into it after the fact. Oh, that's annoying. Tried to get in front of that attempt if it was coming. But look, the ball comes in and then he... Co oh, actually, Connor Cody swung at him. Jesus. No booking or anything. Jesus. Danny Ings steps up. Oh, what a save. A massive, massive save. To keep our two-goal lead intact, Rui Patricio with a huge, huge save as the header comes in. And that's an excellent, excellent save again. And a really good hit that time from whoever that was. Did really well to save that. Nicely done. We slip that through to Triore. We can, and Triore is through here. Triore racing away. It's Triore to seal this. Always oh, hit the bar. Oh... And what could have been 
He has smashed the bar. A massive opportunity as the header comes in. And goes just wide from Connor Cody. Here's Vitinha. Now we can push the other way. Slip that out there. There's plenty of space here for Jimenez. And Jimenez steps inside. Run being made by Johnny. Bit of space for Johnny. Steps in. Back across. It's Jimenez. Easy. Finish. It didn't happen, did it? That's got to be scored. Goalkeeper did so well to get back across, but he had so much time there, him, and has almost too much in the end. That should have been a goal. Corner set to come in for Sheffield United in the last minute of the game. Unless they score here, which they almost do. That's a great save. We just can't clear it. Get it out of here. Just continuously pressing B. But it looks like we're going to come away with a very big three points. Get us back on track in the Premier League. And hopefully give us a little bit of momentum as we look to secure qualifying in the Champions League, even though they score with a minute to go. It's lovely football in the end. Caputo gives them a slight bit of hope, but we're, we're not going to give them the ball back. It's lovely stuff here. Good movement. Really good movement. And really good play. But that should just be a consolation in the end. 2-1 the score. And it is going to finish that way. A good win, as I said, to get us back on track a little bit. Even though we've done well against Inter in the Premier League, to get back on track was ideal as we were kind of inching toward that fifth place spot, which we don't want to be doing as Chelsea win their game here. So what we're going to be is ahead of Chelsea with a game in hand. So three ahead of Chelsea with a game in hand as we edge toward the final couple of games. There aren't too many left. And we have three tough ones in a row. We're going to take a look at the league, but I believe it's Arsenal, Tottenham, and Liverpool are the next three in the league. Not ideal with Chelsea breathing down our necks. Let's take a look. Next episode, Arsenal, Liverpool, Juventus in the Champions League semifinal, and then Tottenham, Juventus. So these games are going to decide our season. Whether we finish fourth you know, whether we can actually add a trophy in the Champions League, that'd be wild. Our only win, our only trophy would be the Champions League. That'd be pretty incredible for what we are at the moment. But we sit in fourth, a chance to catch Liverpool with a win with our game in hand. But incredible stuff happening here as we edge toward the end of the season, guys. But that is going to be it. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.